General, uh, the Statistics South Africa rather released a report on higher education titled Financial Statistics of Higher Education Institutions. The Statistician General, Badil Hotla, mentioned that this information was looked at in the context of households, the population, as well as national accounts. According to the report, the notion of free education is still a challenge. Joining us now from our Pretoria studios is Dr. Badil Hotla. Dr. Lohotla, good morning to you. Rawamu Helakwane, morning live. Morning, Well, thank you so much for your time. Let's just look at the issue of free education. Is free education possible or not? I think the question should be at what strategic position uh, you place the cost mm -hmm. or payment for education. Uh, uh, placing this in the hands of students is uh, very unfair. Uh, they have hardly started working and to place uh, them in a position where they have to make hard choices around whether education, they pay for education or not, it is a very unfair and unfortunate position. And many of the incidents that we see now relate to that fact that the burden of cost of education sits on them instead of sitting on those who work. So the notion of uh, free education or not uh, doesn't fly. Education has to be paid for, mm. but where you strategically place the responsibility uh, it's the questioning point. And uh, what we see in South Africa today is uh, basically the problem of misplacement of responsibility. Yeah, but we, we always hear that the biggest chunk of the budget goes into uh, you know, sectors such as that of education. And you mentioned one important issue of grants by government that it actually increased by 144%. Talk to us about that. Well, yes, grants have increased by 144%, but uh, I think what we have to understand are the demographics of the country. Mm. And if we plan well and understand the numbers, then uh, we can mitigate to a large extent uh, the nature of the problem. For instance, uh, ideally, given what uh, the throughput from high schools are, the universities should have no more than 600,000 students, but we have a million. Mm. So there is churn there that uh, is sitting there because students cannot progress uh, because the burden of uh, payment for fees is placed on them. They have to look for accommodation, they have to look for this, they have to look for that. And we have created a situation that is untenable. So, so th th this is the, the problem. So uh, what we need is a, a, a planned system, a, a system that works on the numbers and understands what is happening. Mm -hmm. So you, you've also indicated that there were nearly one million students that were enrolled for their academic year 2015 in South Africa's 20 universities and six universities of technology. So basically you're saying that the system is bloated. Yes, I mean, it, it, has, it, it, has, things that are not, it has students that are not proceeding. Mm. And the problems why students are not proceeding is not because they are stupid. It's because they are not exposed adequately to financing their education. And that is why I'm saying that we put responsibility on students instead of on society. If we put a responsibility on society and not on students, then they can have access to education with all everything that they need to go and study rather than fend for themselves and start working at restaurants trying to, 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 to make do uh, with a difficult situation and sleep in toilets. During the, the, the media briefing, Dadelo Hosla, you've also mentioned an issue of the education levy. Can you just talk to us more about that? The fact of the matter, if we were to look at numbers, 92% of people who have queer graduates actually get jobs. That is where you place payment for education, not on students. It must be on those who are actually working and pay for, for a university education. What form that takes, what amount it takes, uh, it's a matter of uh, prioritizing. But uh, here again, it's a problem. When we asked priorities in society, uh, they showed us that uh, they are worried about water and electricity and unemployment as top three priorities of society. Education was priority number 18. When you looked at the local government elections campaigns, nobody spoke about, of all parties, nobody spoke about education. Yet we had a hashtag fees must fall last year exactly at this time. And now we have the same problem. So the, the, the onus of looking at education is a societal matter. 
uh, yet society and we, what we are getting is what we have. If education is priority number 18 in 20 priorities, and we have the other top priorities being water and sanitation, obviously we are not going to get education. So what should be the way forward now? What, what should be done? Should society more emphasis be placed must on? Society must understand that human beings have to be educated. Only when the brain is fed, all other things can follow. I'm not undermining all the other needs. But for as long as South, South Africa incorporated, doesn't see education as a priority, we'll never get out of this mess. Mm. So you talked about universities with uh, positive balance and others with negative balance. What causes this disparities in Datel Oh Well, I mean, uh, the, there are a number of students at university. The system is uh, really uh, overburdened. Uh, so, uh, in that respect, uh, they, they are old universities. NAFSAS is old. Universities are old. So, some universities go into the negative balance. Uh, of course, the University of Pretoria has some assets and so on. It uh, remains in positive balance all the time, while other universities are really bad. So, if one is to look at the figures and the information that you presented yesterday, what will it take for South Africa to actually uh, get to a point where it can afford free education? I mean, you've, um, you've just mentioned that it's actually a societal problem. But just be besides that, what can it take for South Africa to get free education? A quick one on this one. Uh, look, uh, if uh, Minister Mutsaka improves matric pass rate, uh, which is what we are, uh, South Africa is working on now, there will be more students going through to university. So it takes much more than what we are looking at as the number of students that are in the university. It takes much more in terms of uh, ensuring that students have to study when they are at university. They don't have to fend for themselves on all other things. Okay. Now, there has to be more students going through tertiary education of all forms. All right. And uh, when the improvement in metric results comes by, there is also a lot more students that are going to go through. So we actually have to prepare ourselves for realizing how important education is. Okay. And therefore, we have to be a society ready to pay for it and prioritize it. All when right. It's priority, when it's number 18, it's not a priority. Okay. In that's where we're going to leave it for this morning. That's the statistician general, Badi Luhotla, talking to us about the financial statistics of higher education that were released yesterday. Let's take a break.